you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve the problem that is displayed at the left hand side of the screen and the question says a slight block is shown in plan and elevation draw these views and project a first auxiliary elevation viewing the plan in the direction of arrow q now the first thing we should do first of all is to reproduce this figure that is displayed at the left hand side of the screen right and this is what we are going to do um you are going to draw an horizontal um an horizontal line this way from this point you can see that and you pick a point let's see i am picking this point here so from that point you are going to measure a length of 100 from that point a length of what 100 from that point so this length here you're going to measure 100 hope you can see that from zero to 100 Are we good now you're going to project it upward with your faint line you project them upward this way and also upward this way you can see that now after you've done that the next important thing you do is that the height of that figure here the plan is given to be um is given to be 62 right so i'm going to measure 62 from that point there all together i'll measure 62 so from here i'm going to measure 62 this is 60 61 62 here right and i'll close it up so taking them out just to save my time i'll take in here out and i'll also take in here out right and i'll close it up too Also close your up to you can see that now the next thing that I will be doing here is to get the center of this figure right get the center of this figure so let me do that and see to get the center is easier just draw the diagonals so if I join this diagonal to this diagonal this way around here and I join the diagonal to the diagonal this way around here so where they intersect that will be the center of what of the figure and I'm going to draw my center line along that part this way so it means this point here is the center of the figure let me just put it this way faint line that is the center of the figure right I also come horizontally to this way, faint line. This is the center of the symbol. We just draw a long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot, and so on. Right? I should do the same thing here too. Long shot, long shot, long shot. Just that way. You can see that? Now, after we've done that, now from that center, we're told that the center of these two arcs you see here and here from each other, the distance between them is 24. So I'm going to take my instrument here, starting from zero, all together, starting from zero, and I'll measure 24 to both sides. I'll get 12. This is 10, 11, 12 here. This is 10, 
10 here, 11, 12 here, because 12 plus 12 is 24. So let's confirm that and see from here to this point, then back to this point. So we're on track. So that point you see will be the center of that circle. So let me just put a little arc there to see. No. Yeah, you will know where the yeah, down short down short come here also down short down short down short down so that will be the center of that arc you see so I'll take a radius of arrow now the question is what is the radius of arrow that is given in the question here is also what um 12. The radius is also what? Is also 12. So, what I'll simply do here if from here to here is 12, right? I will come to this point here and I'm going to draw an arc of 12. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing an arc of 12 hope you can see that and I'm going to join them together with my thick line I'll come here also do the same thing here with my thick line. You can see that? And here also I will thicken it too. You can see that? Now, the next thing I will do is the given figure that is here, we will do that from here to here is from here to here and that is 76. I'm going to measure 38, um, measure half of 76, that is 38 to both sides, right? So from here, I will measure 38 to both sides. From 0, this 30, 38 here. As you see here, to from 0, this 30, and 38 here. Guys, only measure one side from this point here to here and take it here. This is where it is. I'll just draw my vertical line along that point here. Vertical line, faint line. Then here also, vertical line, faint line. So aside that, the next thing we're going to do here is the thickness of this shape here, this rectangular shape, the, in the inside one here. And that's given to be what? 38. So that's what I'm going to be using 19. 19 right up and down 19 so i'm going to place it this way and i'm going to measure 19 19 this 10 this is 19 just before 20 this is 19 just before 20 right so i can actually take my instrument here you can use your compass measure 19 here and you mark so that is what I am going to use to close it up. So if I place it this way, right, I have this. I come here too from this point. I have this. If I come here too from this point. I have this and I come here too from this point. I have this. You can see that? So I have successfully reproduced the um the what we have the elevation here. All good. So we proceed. And at any given distance, I can see a distance of um at any given distance. Let me see 10. The better see I can see 15 if I want to, but let me use 10. 
or 15 is better or 20 anyone can be at any distance then i'll just draw my horizontal line here faint line first right and the total height of that will give us to be 26 plus 13 and that is 39 so from this baseline here i'll measure 39 0 is 30, 39 is here. I'm good. And what I can see is that 39, I'm going to draw a straight line that will cover up from this point straight down to this point. Right? And I'll measure 13 too, the thickness from here to here. 13. From 0, this point. Then 11, 12, 13. And I'll close it up. Right? I'll do here too. Close it up. I'll come here too. Close it up. And the rest is this tree. The inner line here you see is moving from this baseline here to touch this. This inner line here you see is moving from this point here to touch this. Then the hidden line you see is from this point here. This hidden line, short dashes. Here also from here, the short dashes, you can see that, and I'll just close up the base here from here, straight down to here, you can see that, so I have successfully reproduced that figure that is displayed at the left hand side of the screen now the question says now we should view it from this angle here we're viewing this the question says we should view the viewing the plan in the direction of arrow q so we are viewing this plan here in the direction of what arrow q so we are going in this direction what is the angle of the direction that is 45 degree so we'll take my 45 degree at every given point here and I'll start viewing. So from here I'll view from here this 45 degree here, right? From here I'll view from here I'll do the same thing, faint line from here there is the same thing here, so I won't stress myself, I'll just put it this way. Then from here, this point here. I'll view, right, from this point here. I'll view, from this point here too. I'll view from this point here too. I'll view right and from here I also view here also if I want to view here also if I want to view the same line as that. Can you see that? That is all the points that we've projected. Now, the next thing is you can actually, um, you can actually draw this figure just to give you a better explanation of it, like I always tell you. You can draw it out. Let me bring this one down. So let's do that and see. Let's draw it out first and see what we're going to have. It is not really compulsory to do all this. 
I'm only doing this to enhance your understanding. So you just observe what I am doing. This is what we have here. We've reproduced it facing this side. Remember, this shape here is also at the face here. So let me show you. Please, guys, if you have been finding my videos helpful, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and also share the video. Thank you very much. This is what I have done here. This is the actual image. And this, when the image is facing this side, and when it is facing this side, but the same diagram. Just to enhance your understanding, nobody will ask you to do this, right? It's because I am teaching you, that is why I am actually doing it the way I am doing it. But this is what I have here from the figure. So we are going to name our figure. This figure you have here. We are going to what? We are going to name it. So let's start naming them. So if I shoot from here. The reason why you're seeing this is that from the face here, we are viewing it from here. This is the elevation. So if you view it, is it true? It, it penetrates until it comes out. This face you're seeing is a mirror image of what you're seeing, a mirror image of what you're seeing from here. So this guy penetrates this figure and is showing on this face, and this is the face here. So let's start doing the naming, right? So from the... Um, from this front here, I have I can say here to be one, here to be two, here will be three, here will be four, here will be five, here will be six, here will be seven, where this and this meet will be what eight. Can you see that? Here will be nine, where this and this meet will be 10, here will be 11, here will be 12, here will be 13. Can you see that? Then I can come here, I will do this later, well, let me just do that, that is 13. I will call this point here 14, here is 15, here is 16, here is 17. I will together and I can try to call here to be 18 and 19. So look at what I want to do now. If here is 12, automatically here too is 12. If here is 11, what do you notice? Automatically here too is what is 11. Right? This back here is 9. This 9 you seen. This 12 here is what? It will be 5. Out together, 1, this will be 1. 4, this will be 4. They are the same thing. 13, this will be 13. Behind this, I've not done that. I I, I stopped at um, 18, Abby. 18. And here will be 19. Can you see that? That will be 19. So I'll call here to be 19. Then we have... Um, if you're coming down, behind here is what? Um, that is 19, this will be 20. So here is 20. Right? Now where this, this line come down and meet the other line here, let me just put it through to avoid confusion. Right? That will be 21. Where am I talking about? I'm talking about this point here. Here is 21, right? So meaning that where this guy will meet the vertical guy somewhere around here will be 21. So I should not make mistake. That hidden line here at this point here is 21. Which is the 21 you're seeing here. Then behind it, where this nine, where this nine here is meeting this 20 here, we'll call it um, we'll call it 19, right? 
So that will be 10 behind. Right? So what you cannot see, you see, so I say here is 14, meaning here it is 14. That is this point where the circle starts meeting 15. Here is 15, 17, 16, 18, 19. Can you see that? So they are the same curving figure. I don't want us to have issues. This is three. Here is three. Six is inside there. Five is also there. So and seven is in two. Right? Seven is at this side here. So let's proceed and see how we can do that. Start again. So now it says we look at it at an angle of what? This way, 45 degree. Meaning that we projected with 45 degree in this fashion. All together to put it with 45 degree in this fashion, right? To counter it with 45 degrees so that to form an angle of what 90 that will be our xy plane. This will be my what my x y plane, as the question suggests, right? That will be my x y plane here. So we're looking in this direction. What are we going to see? So let's start seeing what we see. But before that, we have to start naming this we have here. So this is the plan. Looking at it from the top. This is the elevation. Looking at it from the side here. So if we're looking at it from this side here, what are we going to see? Let's start with this big guy here. At this edge is 20 and 13. So here will be 20, 13. Right here will be uh, I'm not placed here, so I should be able to call here to be my 21. Here, that is 22. So 12, 22, meaning here is 22. So here will be 12, comma 22. I will together this two point here. Then looking at it from this side again, we have 9, comma 10 here. 9 comma 10 here how good that the end here we're having this end here is the end that we're gonna see that is 10 comma what 21 this is 10 comma 21 right and in now from this side we have six and eight where this line meets this line is point eight so that will be six comma eight they're looking from here 2 comma 8 right 2 comma 8 2 comma 8 3 comma 6 4 comma 5 7 comma 1 right and here is 17 16 19 18 14, 15. Can you see that? This is what we have from the elevation looking at it from the side. Not in mod, nothing less. Now let's come to the plan looking at it from the top. We're looking from the top, this is what you're going to see. Right? We're looking from the top and it's facing this side. So let's look at this. So I think you know. So looking at it that way, to this top here will be this that will be 20 the back line will be 13 for 20 you see here is on the same line as 10 right 20 comma 10 how good 13 comma 21 we're looking at it from up vertically downward then the next point talking about the big guns here 12 right and 11 comma 11 right then the next one is 5 comma 9 that again in this point here one that 5 comma comma 9 that, that put 5 no 5 5 that is 12 and 22 12 and 22 
is not 5 is 22 comma 9 here 22 comma 9 because here is 22 automatically this point here is 22 so the other point there that we cannot see which is this point here is 5 so 22 comma 9 right from the plan then we we'll move forward to the line of 22 again we have 4 right close to that guy we have 5 comma 7 right here we have 4 comma 1 here we have 3 comma 2 and here we have 6 comma let's see trace it down 6 where this one meets this 6 comma 8 can you see that so what is the whole meeting? So the inner one here that will just cause it to be 13. Just only 13. Then here to be what? 19. That's the only thing we can view from there. 13 and 19. Right from the plan. Of the 13, 18 I mean. 18 or 19. Looking from the top. All together. So this is what we have successfully reproduced even here to come up it's still 18 taking it 18 19 so this is what we have here then we we'll start drawing our diagram here all together so let's proceed so if i want to do this you don't have to say you want to you can number it and how you want to number it Right, it's just to enhance your understanding so if i should take my reference line here let me take my reference line to be my xy plane to be here so this will be x y here and this is x1 y1 so what i'll simply do is i'll take my my compass I will place it since I projected this elevation. I'll take my measurement from here. So I want these two points here. We're looking at in this direction, right? So if I want these two points, if I come from here to this point here, that point is 20 and 13. So I'll go to where 20 is. This is the line of 20. And I'll place it here and I'll mark. That is my point 20. Sim similarly, I'll go to where 19 is too. Because 20, 13 to where 13 is. This is where 13 is here. I'll place it here. I'll mark 13. Alright. I'll come from here also to the next one. 10, 21. Right, I'll go to where 10 is, this 10, I'll trace it. Then I'll go to where 21 is, this 21 here. So we have 10, 21. Here is 10, here is 21. How good. And if you look closely, they are all connected. Since 20, 20 and 13 are on the same line, it's connected. So I'll use faint line. 20 and 13 is connected. Sorry. 20 and 13 is connected. This way. 10 and 21 is connected. Now the thing is, if 20 and 13 is connected, 20 and 13 is connected, right 10 and 21 also is connected 10 and 20 is connected 20 13 20 and 10 and 21 and 13 21 and 13 they are connected so let's bring them this way this is how they are connected or is my faint line now the next one we do is this I'm done with this, right? 
I'll come here again, place it at XY plane, come to this other end too, 12 and 22. I'll go to where 22 is, this 22 here, right, this 22. I'll come here, I'll mark, and this is, where is 12? Is 12 here, so this is 12 here. Now, mark so we have 12 and we have 22. Can you see that? I will come again from this same. I'll come to 9 and 10. I will look for 9. This 9 here, I'll mark. Then this is where it's 10 also. We have 9 and 10. So where is the 10 here? Let's see 9 and 10. This is 9 and 22. Right? So 9 and 22. So here is also 22 here. Right? So I'll come here. I'll mark it here. So, so this is nine and eleven, not nine and ten. Nine eleven, right? Because if you look at it, nine eleven. So I'll come to where eleven is. This is where eleven is. I'll mark. That is my nine. And 11 and they are connected 922 is together and 911 is together just bring them together this way so you can see that they are connected 9 to 22 9 to 11 9 to 22, 9 to 11, and so on and so forth. Now, what do you notice? 20, 12, 22, 20, and 13 are the same point. 12, 22, 20, and 13 are the same point. Look at it. 12, 22, 20, right? Then 22 and 20, 12, 22, 22. They're all on the same straight line. So I'm going to join them together. This way, right line first, and I'll join these two together. The same thing, too. Can you see that? So, we proceed. We've done this four points now. I'll go for the inner one now, right? So, once I place it here from here to three comma six, right? I'll go to where. 3,6 is where 3 is in here from this point here to 3,6 I'll go to where 6 is is 6 now trace it place it here I'll mark for 6 that's point 6 there I'll do the same thing there's 3 here I'll go to where 3 is and this is 3 here. I'll trace it. This is 3 here. Right. So I'll come here again. From here to 2,8. I'll come to where 2 is. This is 2 again. Place it here. I'll mark. I'll come to where 8 is. This is 8 here. I'll mark. So this is 2. And this is it right so i'm going to join them together we have three comma six is together and two comma eight is together then it's two continues to three let's see two is continuous to three and also 
it's going to six. You know, generate that this way. You can see that two is going to three is going to go to six. So we'll continue moving. The next one is we'll come here also on this line here to five. 4,5 I'll go to where 4 is I'll mark place point 4 then I'll go to where 5 is I'll mark place point 5 right come again from that same point to so 7,1 I'll go to where 7 is, G7, trace it to this line, I'll mark, that is 7, then the main 1, I'll come to where 1 is, same point, and this is 1, so 4 comma 1 is together, from here to here together, then 1 comma 7, 1 comma 7 is connected, so they are all on the same straight line. So I'll just join them together this way. So that way. Right? So what do you notice? 1 to 2, let's see. 1 to 2, 4 to 3. Look at what I'm showing you. 1 to 2, 4 to 3 together. 1 to 2. 1 to 2, 4 to 3, 1 to 7, 2 to 8. So, everything together on a straight line, like this. And everything here on a straight line, like this. Then, like this, too. So, we move forward. Now the next thing is you should know that seven to three, seven to um to five ought to be hidden because you are coming like this. So when you are coming like this, you will not see seven and five, so it will be hidden. So I'll make this guy to be hidden. So let me delete that guy first. So I've made it hidden. Then what is again? Um nine to 22 this will also be hidden here 9 to 22 if you come like this this is 9 to 22 this point you will not see too so i'll just see make here also to be hidden right you're looking at it from this side so it's to be hidden so i'm going to make it hidden Right, and what is again? We see, um, we move forward. So, the next thing that we are to do here is to get this arc, this curve here. Is that again? That's the next thing. So, let's do that. If I should come from here to 19. Right, I'll go to where 19 is. I'll place it here. I'll mark. I'll also come to the other 19 too. I'll place it here. I'll mark. So, I'll see these two points here. This is 19, and this is 19. Right, I'll come again 18 from here. 18. I'll come to where 18 is. I'm going to mark. Then I'll come to where 18 is also. I'm going to mark. So meaning that this point here is 18. This point here is what is 18. Can you see that? I'm talking about the, the end. The end. So 19 and 18. These two are together. So let me just change them with a straight line. 
right? 18, 18, 19, 19. So 19, 19, faint line. 18, 18, 2, faint line. Let's just start with that. Now, the next thing is this here. Right? I can easily project it upward if I want to. Let us take it upward here. And take it upward here. They are meeting at this point. So, what I will simply do here is I've got in 1919 here so that I'll get the center. So, if I project here, remember that this point here you're seeing will be 14,17. Here also will be 14,17. I mean, 15 comma 16, 15 comma 16, right? Here also, where is it? 14 comma 17, here will be 15 comma 16. So if I project this up here, see what I want to do? And I project here to up. And I project here to up. And I project here to up. Right? So I'll just transform my points. So if I from here to where 15 is, I'll trace my line of 15. I'll go to where 15 is here. Both side. I'll mark on 15. I'll come here also trace it. I'll mark on 15. So those two points I mark will be 15 and what? 15. You can see that? That's for 15 or from here to 15. And I'll move from here again to 16. I'll still go on that line. Because I can find 16 here, I'll trace it. To this point, I'll mark here that is 16. I'll come to the other 16 too. I'll mark here that is 16. Can you see that? So I can join 16 to 16 and also 15 to 15. We are moving now. The next one is I'll come from here also, get 14, I'll move to line of 14. I'm going to mark 14, All right? This is 14. I'll go to the next one again, 14, too. And this is 14. Right? Then I'll go from here to 17. I'm going to trace 17 here. This is 17. And this is 17. So I'm going to join 17, 17, 16, they're all joined together. 17 and 16 are all together. Right? So I'll just come here. 17 and 16 are all together. This way. Then we have 15 to 14 are all together this way. Right? Then I use my curve and connect 17, 18. 17, 18 and 14 this curve here all together so use you can use a french curve and connect those points
it's coming like this can you see that and that is not the, that is not the end we have uh, coming so we have another one 17 18 and 14 this one this way right then we have another one that we cannot see which is um 16 18 and 19 that is 16 19 15 so this is um 15 16 and what 19 right so we still have 16 19 15 this way can you see that so once you've done that you can now tick in what you're going to tick in you're going to see you're looking at it like this right you're going to see all this all this will be visible right straight ahead connected to this right and this right they are coming in this direction and these two will be well seen so this one will be hidden this one too will be visible here will be coming like this right so the rest will be hidden so this is what we have i can actually taking it out let's take in everything out So, now if you look closely, 21, this is 2, right? So, 2 and 3 is connected. Look at this. 2 and 3 is connected. So, this will just be a straight line this way. 2 and 3 is connected. That will make all these guys here hidden lines. So, let me make it, let me modify that. So, that will make all this to be what? Hidden line. Can you see that? So we have uh, successfully. So we have successfully reproduced the figure that you can see in the auxiliary um, elevation, right? The first auxiliary elevation viewing in the direction of what R. This is what we're having here when you look at it from the side. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video thanks for watching